What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Harry Haas here. And today I'm going to be doing kind of a pre-market process type of video, um, just of how I kind of identify stocks in the pre-market. I've been getting a lot of questions, like a ton of, hey Harry, how do you find the hot chick in the morning? Uh, what stocks are you looking to long? How do you identify stocks to long? So I thought that I'd just go uh, kind of through my day, my kind of pre-market process and uh, kind of show you like from my point of view, uh, just how I kind of evaluate and look at stocks. I know we do in the main chat a lot. We're always kind of constantly saying, this is the hot chick, this is the hot chick, chick, this is the hot chick. But I don't know, I guess some people have been wondering, like, how do you find good stocks to long? And um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be kind of diving into in this video. First of all, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Um, this isn't financial advice, even if it seems like it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So again, I said it's one of the, the most popular questions I get asked you know, each morning, every single morning, I have people DMing me, what's the hot chick, bro? What's the hot chick? What are you looking along? What's the hot chick? And so, yeah, I just posted some of the questions like, you know, how do you find characteristics of a strong stock to go long on? I'm along, you know, I've turned to the short side, low hangers, because every time I try and long these things, they bounce and drop on me. I went to get long. I was looking for some clues. It would be cool if you could kind of point me in the direction of kind of a strong long. And then these other people are like, you know, how do you identify the hot chick? How do you find it because I find that we do always mention like oh it's a hot chick it's a hot chick but I guess maybe so there there has been some type of gap I guess because I do get these questions quite frequently so of course now I'm going to make a video on it so I can direct them to this video okay so good indications of a long early early it's usually one of the top percent gainers it's usually in some type of uptrend uh, it's usually it usually has a massive squeeze at the open or a massive opening drive to let everyone know it's basically saying, hey, I'm here, guys, like, you know, I'm doing a lot of volume and it, it's going to attract a lot of attention because a lot of people are going to kind of have that FOMO. They're going to long in at random times. And, you know, that volume, obviously, if it's a lower float, you know, it gets the float rotation. A lot of shorts get piled in. A lot of longs get piled in. Some longs or sorry, some shorts may get trapped and, and they start buying, some longs start chasing and we get a hot check. So yeah, consistent, constant volume, a low float, easy to borrow. It's the one that everyone's talking about in the morning, like, hey bro, did you hear about uh, BKQ? Oh yeah, man, BKQ was insane. It's those type of stocks. So yeah, easy to borrow, one everyone's talking about. Uh, we usually mention the hot chick each morning in main trading chat. And that's something that I just wanted to reiterate is every single morning, uh, whether you see someone type uh, at get whatever or whether Alex, Tosh, one of the mods says, you know, we're looking to avoid this one. This is one I don't want to be playing with on the short side. Usually as a long trader, you can say to yourself, okay, yeah, okay, uh, uh, that's probably going to be the hot chick of the day. Yeah, again, probably the stock with the highest amount of volume in the morning. Uh, look at the tape also. You can use this as an indication. Maybe you're not necessarily a pro tape reader. No one really is. It's kind of a, a farce. I've also made a video on that as well. But you can kind of use the tape to, to give you some clues. And one of the clues that you can pick up, whether you're at any stage in your tape reading or whether you're, you're, you've been experienced for years, is how fast is that sucker moving in the pre-market? How many people are interested in this stock before the market opens up? That is a big, big sign. And again, what's the range? Is it three or four dollars of range? Or is it just 30 or 40 cents and it's kind of a liquid? That is something that you can also use as kind of like a clue. And again, I've already said this, but when Bao, Alex, other short selling 
selling mods. I know I just said short selling mods because it's funny. Or avoiding, that's a great confirmation. So that type of stuff can really get you going in the right direction. And again, float rotation is a great sign. And if you're new and you don't know what float rotation is, basically it's when, uh, it's when the volume traded exceeds the float that means that equals 1x float rotation. So if you have uh, a 2 million share float and 6 million volume has been traded on that day, the float has been rotated three times. That's basically all you can really say. Uh, you can take notes on this one. I mean, if you the easiest definition is if you have a 1 mil float and you get 1 mil volume, there you go, that's one rotation. Pretty simple. I'm pretty sure Joe has some videos on this one as well. Uh, Loha did a float rotation video for sure so we definitely have you covered in the float rotation department and also if you want another major boost on your pre-market longing process you can check out this video as well that i've done stocks that you should avoid because i'm going to be referencing this video quite frequently so if you want to kind of watch this video after i'm done you know you can go ahead and long that one or not long that one you can go ahead and watch that one as well and uh yeah i am kind of showing my own video here but it is kind of important to know and uh to kind of to kind of say to yourself okay if these are the strong stocks i also should probably know what to avoid because that is half the battle as well so examples i'm basically going to go over some example days so you can kind of understand and you can identify stocks i'll be potentially trading in the pre-market there are going to be some stocks that do spike up after the open that do turn into the hot chick and that's also important because when you have people like bow saying okay this stock is in a void it just popped up it's not a pump and dump like this stock is actual news there's people kind of in it there's people, uh, you know, everyone's buying it. It is the new hot chick. It's taken over. That is when you can kind of say to yourself, okay, uh, this is one that I'm going to kind of look at, draw my lines. I have tons of videos on stocks like that. So you can also check that one out as well. And if you think the stock is not strong, let the stock prove to you that it is. And uh, the best way to do that is at the open, when you get that kind of strong opening drive, or you're seeing a lot of volume pour in, and you're seeing that there's higher lows, and you're seeing that the stock is kind of continuing in the uptrend direction, that is when you can kind of identify a stronger stock. But again, nothing's 100%, and that's why risk, risk management is is number one. It is the the the... It probably is the holy grail in this game if there is one because, um, I mean, you can you can say to yourself, oh, there's a higher low, like this stock is going to the moon, but if you're wrong, you must stop out, and that is very important to know. So without further ado, I'm just going to do the examples like this. I figured that this was the best way. I'm just going to start with uh, April 30th and move on. So this is a scan for April 30th. I didn't, I didn't really know how to kind of start these these videos. So I'm just gonna basically show you like, go through a day, this is April 30th, this is what the scanner looked like. I, I'm not necessarily uh, someone who would recommend a scanner just because I think they're pretty useless, but for this example in the video, just pretend these are stocks that we've talked about in main chat. And we probably only talked about the first this one in main chat on this day. But it is important to note, I just wanted to kind of use this scanner as an example and just to kind of explain and show you in the pre-market what I was kind of thinking before the market opens up. So yeah, basically this is the first stock on the scanner and you can see that it's a little bit of liquid, not something that I would touch, obviously, not a lot of volume. Um, obviously there was some type of uh, earnings or a call on the day and yeah so basically not gonna not gonna touch this one pretty illiquid in the morning uh as you can see it's a downtrend um you can see that the float is 235 mil so i'm probably not going to be looking to touch that as well but that is just something that is just a complete avoid for me uh you can notice there's there's not a lot of range it's pretty illiquid um so i mean yeah i'm gonna look at this stock and say you know what I'm not gonna not gonna touch this one. So then we have the second one on the scanner, obviously hot chick of the day. But what we can note about this one is um, this stock right here. Uh, it is, I guess, for some background, it is a day two play. But what we can notice is that this stock was in a void all the way down for me. And the reason why it was in a void was because it was a little illiquid, downtrending. But when all this massive volume came in and the stock started spiking up like that. That's when, like, I kind of said to myself, okay, this is going to be the hot chick for the day. This is going to be the one that everyone's talking about, everyone's interested in. And that's when it's uh, something that I would look for as a long play. 
But again, on these type of day two stocks, I do have a video out explaining my kind of day two rules on, on day two stocks and kind of how I, how I trade them. So uh, you can be sure to check that one out as well because on day two, it is a little bit different than day one. And on day two, you do have a lot more dump risk. So yeah, it's very important to, to note on this one. So thanks for watching. I'll be in main chat. I always answer DMs. I'm always around. So uh, yeah, uh, take care guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.